Hello, people. I am Jabby Kawai, joined by Tara Erickson, Hi. my girlfriend, according to Instagram. Yes, that is true. Mm. He posted a picture of us at, from my barbecue. Yeah. I got lots of friends. He come to my barbecue. He is a friend yeah. uh, with a picture of the city that loves you, and then he posted it, and apparently people think we're now dating. Yes. Are we supposed to clear that up here, that we're not? It's, that it was just a barbecue, we, friendly hang, we're not friendly pics? We're not secretly dating. No. There's nothing going on. I don't got secrets. Yeah, there's nothing happening that I'm not telling you guys. So we're gonna look at Village Rockstar's trailer. TIFF 2017, it's from TIFF Trailers. This is supposedly the Academy Award entry uh, for this mm. year from India. So let's check this out. Hey. cried. I find it so touching that like, ah, uh, oh, I'll get a real guitar soon. It's just sad. It's like a sad story. It seems like Rima Das was his name is a really good director in terms of emotional stuff that he brings to the table. At least in the way this trailer was edited. I just think it's great that they make their own music with cardboard instruments. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Well, it's kind of the Neverland imagination kind of thing of, mm -hmm. you know, you're, you're imagining the music that you're playing, like we used yeah. to do when we were kids, because you can't really play. But it makes me feel very <laughs> privileged in the sense that I did have like a guitar when I was like 10 and could play it, yeah. and it just makes you think about your life and how sometimes you forget that you're fortunate and forget to be as grateful as you have been with things that you have, mm -hmm. and that there's other people out there who have not. It's a cool little story to hear someone like that they want, you know, a real mm -hmm. guitar soon, just like a musical instrument to bring, which just brings like joy. <laughs> it's nothing like a million dollars, you know what I mean? If you're gonna shoot, like you have a dream, but it's yeah. like music is that, which it, I love. It has a very uh, Terrence Malick kind of feel to it mm -hmm. in, in the way that it's shot. It feels real and raw, mm -hmm. you know? It, there's nothing glamorous about the way it's shot. It's right. just like, it's just there with these kids, you know, going through what they go through. It's like a slice of life, which, yeah. which is what Terrence Malick, I feel like often does, regardless of if it's a period piece or not, it feels like you're just kind of there experiencing it and it's beautiful yeah. uh, at the same time. What was that movie that was done this year with the kids, they go to Orlando? Oh, goodness gracious. At the very end, they end up at Disneyland. Uh, Spoiler alert. I, the, I know, I, know. I, ha I, I have know. the worst memory, forgive me. Yeah. Uh, it'll come to me. I'll think of it. It was a great movie, but it's it has this vibe as well, where you, like what you were saying, you feel like you're just right there with them. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of slow shots where you're just like, you're just sitting there watching someone just behave in the way that they normally would. Right. Rather than a lot of like cuts or dialogue, it's just like a lot more observation. Right. Which I like. Right. When it's done well, and then you're like, you're not bored. You're like, wow, I'm truly invested, and I feel like this, I would be. One of the cool things though, is despite it being about village kids, mm -hmm is that I still feel like there's a great sense of relatability here. 
of like us growing up, you know, we have not much to work with other than our imagination when we're kids because mm -hmm. it, like you don't, even though you had a guitar, like you don't have a large skill set. All you have is your imagination to play with and your friends. And so you go out and you do things like climbing trees and whatnot and mm -hmm. experiment with what you know how to experiment with. And it's like, this is very much something I feel like we can all kind of relate to and look back on like, you know, I'm sure if you look back on your childhood, you'll find things like this where you just were playing with friends and, and stuff like that and messing around. And it's one of those things that's very innocent. There's no right or wrong. And the mom is like projecting right and wrong onto the child going, why are you hanging with those boys? But like in her mind, she's just innocent. She's just having a good time, this, mm -hmm. little, this little girl. That's really what the uh, essence of this is. It's very, that innocent childhood. I mean, I climbed a lot of trees in my yeah. childhood. Also didn't have a pool. So I filled up a stainless steel <laughs> trash can and swam in that. It was a trash can. That was my, that's what I hung out in, yeah. a trash can. Yeah. And Mia Belita would help me fill it with water and then what's, make sure that I wasn't holding my breath too long. For the non-Spanish speakers, what's Abuelita? My grandma. My dad would do this thing where he'd buy something and then he'd return it. So <laughs> he bought a, uh, a blow up pool to put in our backyard mm -hmm. and he filled it with water from the hose. We used it for like a month and then he, and then he went back to Fedco and returned it. <laughs> Yes, what a smart dad move. Of like, you really only need one of those pop-up pools for a month because then the kids, they get over it, they get bored. And yeah. then you take it for take it for granted. You're like, eh, we got a pool back there. I don't want to use it today. Yeah. But then before you know it, dad, he's already returned it. Good for you, dad. Yeah. One of the things you mentioned is, uh, I think is key here. It's, it's definitely a slow burn. Mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not an action film. And I think you need to go in knowing that knowing that that's what you're gonna get because it's not gonna move along quick there's gonna probably be a lot of long lingering shots it's just allowing the characters to behave like you said yeah it's very french in that way you know yeah. what i mean which a lot of french films tend to do it's just very real there's something cool about that i can see why this would be the entry in my mind it rang as like a festival a pot potential festival darling can you look up 2017 oscar nominations because i just want to prove to everybody i'm right the, see, this is an Oscar-nominated film, and I'm telling you, the, the thing that I have in my head, because of my horrible memory, I don't remember the name, I'm telling you right now, let me just, let's see it here, movies. <laughs> we don't have to look it up. It's gonna come to me, it's just, I, I know it's really gonna bother me, because exactly what I say, people are gonna be like, oh, you're right. And I just want someone to tell me I'm right. You're right, but you are right. I just want somebody to be like, you were right for once in your life. No, I don't know. It'll come. The Florida Project. Thank you and you're welcome. Where, what is it? The Florida Project <laughs> is going to be, I think the same vibe of this film, The Florida Project. It's it's a lot of observation, uh -huh. not a lot of dialogue. You follow these people's story. There are kids involved mm -hmm. and it's just from their observation, their, their point of view. Their perspective, yeah. Yes, there you go. Oof, got that off my conscience. Uh, yeah, chest. Great. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm, chest. Yeah. One thing you just said though right now is uh, something that we didn't talk about, which I appreciate, which is that uh, it is from their perspective. Yes. And there, there's something great about that. I think that we forget that kids have their own perspective. Yeah. Very easily, especially like when you are a parent, you're like, no, son or daughter, like this is the reality of things. What you're mm -hmm. saying is in, is not informed. You don't have context. You don't have life experience. You don't have seasons on you. I do. That's not correct. Whereas kids are like, you know, they don't know that. They don't know that they're, for you know, all intents and purposes, dumb and uninformed. And so they do have their own perspective. And like I said earlier, like there's an innocence to that and there's something interesting about it. That kind of like newness of life and just exploring, you know, that was interesting. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Please check out my Instagram girlfriend, Tara Erickson on the social media. Catch me on the YouTube. She's got her own social media and YouTube. Be Join my idiot army. Yes. Sorry to interrupt you. That's no, okay. We're promoting you now. Only me, always me, all the time. Yeah. Ah, okay. You want to finish your little outro now? Yes. And I won't talk. Okay. S subscribe if you haven't already. Check out our other reactions, reviews, and short films. I'm Jabby Kaway. This is Tara Erickson. Peace out.